So here's our modern periodic table. So as you can see, this periodic table is very similar to the one that Mendeleev gave. And of course, we have to remember him whenever we talk about periodic table. So here, the modern periodic table consists of 118 elements that are present as of now. now here, we have 18 groups. Groups as in this is the first group, second, third to twelfth. 13th group, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th group. So these vertical columns are groups. So 18 groups and 7 periods of course as you can see here. So this is the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. So these are the periods and groups. What else can you see here? There are two separate lines, that is lanthanides and actinides. Now, you don't need to worry about these because this you will be learning in higher classes. Now, what else is important? The first group consists of hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. And these are known as alkali metals. The second group, similarly, consisting of beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, radium, are known as alkali earth metals. Similarly, we have a name for 17th group as well. We call it halogen group. Also, 18th group is called zero group. And the reason you'll find soon, now that you know about valency, you'll be able to get this very quickly. Now another very interesting thing is that all these elements are either metals, non-metals or metalloids. Now metalloids are those which have properties of both metals and non-metals but you don't need to worry about them. What you need to know is that most of this periodic table has metals. In fact more than 70% are metals. Right from here So except for these, all of them are metals and these are non-metals. In fact, even these are metals only. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.